Our solar system has weathered over four billion years of planet-altering catastrophes. In some cases, the effects are obvious, like the craters of the late heavy bombardment that still litter the moon. In others, the evidence has long since disappeared. NASA has recently compared images of Jupiter from the Cassini and New Horizons missions and made a stunning discovery. Like Saturn, Jupiter also has rings, though much fainter. But something has disrupted them. If you look at the rings of Jupiter, they actually have little corrugations, little ripples in them. And those ripples are formed when a portion of the ring is tilted, and then as it continues to spin and evolve over time, those ripples wander out, propagate out through the ring system. If you unwind that system, and work back out the ripples, you can find out the point in time when that ring plane had gotten tilted over. That point when that ring got tilted was right around July of 1994. July 1994 marks the date of the Shoemaker Levy 9 impact event. The scientific sleuths had made a key discovery. As the cometary fragment struck Jupiter itself, much smaller debris passed through its rings, tilting and twisting them into the ripples that we still see today. In the case of a disrupted comet like Shoemaker-Levy 9, you've got an entire pall of dust, a large mass of material distributed across the disk of the rings, raining through that system. And so rather than displacing only one or two ring particles, you can do the entire cloud at once, tipping it on the side. Shoemaker-Levy 9 wasn't the only comet to leave its calling card mark on Jupiter in recent times. In July 2009, another asteroid smashed into the gas giant near its south pole. When it impacted Jupiter, it brought up a lot of material from deep within the atmosphere and created a huge scar on the surface of the planet that was visible for many weeks. Uh, the size of this black ash cloud was perhaps the size of the Pacific Ocean on the Earth. It was quite large. It's now estimated that an asteroid or comet hits Jupiter every 10 to 15 years, which is 5,000 times higher than the rate of impacts on Earth. And the fact that we've seen several of these it suggests it's happening all the time because they're all the ones we don't see. So there's a, a lot more impact activity on the outer gas giants than we ever thought. If Jupiter was not in our solar system, the Earth would be essentially a sitting duck for all the debris, the comets and the asteroids that were falling in towards the sun, uh, creating vastly larger numbers of catastrophes on Earth than we've experienced through our history. But as our solar system ages, new threats will likely arise, and Earth itself will face a cosmic day of reckoning that nothing, not even Jupiter, can prevent. In several billion years, many scientists believe Jupiter, the largest planet, and Mercury, the smallest, will face off in an orbital duel, and an innocent bystander, Earth, just might find itself in the line of fire. Right now, our solar system is kind of the paradigm of clockwork regularity. But it turns out that you know, the planets do affect each other gravitationally. The planetary orbits are, over very long periods of time, vibrating in and out and turning. Jupiter and Mercury will begin to turn their orbits at the same rate. And if that happens, Mercury's orbit becomes progressively more eccentric. It becomes progressively more elongated until the point where at its far point from the sun, it's actually crossing Venus's orbit. If Mercury's orbit ever gets to the situation where it's crossing Venus's orbit, then basically all hell can break loose. Scientists have calculated one of four disastrous consequences. Mercury might collide with the sun, might be ejected from the solar system, might smash into Venus, or in a worst case scenario, Mercury might collide with the Earth, blasting away our mantle and atmosphere and sterilizing our planet. Mercury is hardly the only threat we face from within the solar system, 
According to some scenarios, Mars also faces orbital chaos in the future, and it too may slam into Earth, repeating the disaster that gave rise to the moon. And it's not just planets. Nearby stars periodically disrupt comets in the Oort cloud, which could send them on a kamikaze mission through the solar system and set off a new late heavy bombardment. And if, as most expect, the Andromeda galaxy ultimately collides with the Milky Way, the galactic pileup could shatter our solar system's deceptive calm. The ultimate planetary catastrophe, I think, is still in our future.